Hello YouTube, this is East Coast Outdoorsman. Today I'll be making a video on my Civil War reenacting gear. Uh, my impression is obviously Union impression. I reenact with the 7th Maryland and I'm a corporal. Uh, so I guess to start out, we'll go over to the clothing side of things. I have a shirt. Uh, this is a Blockade Runner shirt. Uh, Pants are also from Blockade Runner. I know they're not the highest quality, but they're cheap and they're light, which I like during the summer months. And I mean, I've had no problems with them whatsoever so far. I'll just show you the pants on the line. And then I do have uh, suspenders. I don't wear them that much just because they're annoying. Uh, I have my sack coat, four button sack coat. I got this uh, person in my unit, uh, made this homemade, and I got a really good deal on it. Uh, it even has like a little couple flaps on the inside to put stuff in, which is really nice. Moving on, we got a cartridge box. This is a WK Wilkinson maker. This is off a guy who got out of the hobby about five years ago. And um, this, I looked this up. There was one of these WK Wilkinson cartridge boxes on eBay for $250. I got it for 70 and it's obviously got the eagle plate. And then I also got, these are just, this is just like a standard belt with the US belt buckle, nothing special. Uh, cap box, let me see if I'm catching you. Yeah, do have caps in there right now. There's my cap box, uh, canteen. Uh, brown canteen. Uh, I'm gonna get a leather strap pretty soon uh, That's from uh, blockade runner as well This is my is my secondary haversack. I actually have a really nice LD handy and haversack I just don't have my stuff in it right now, so I didn't so I figured I wouldn't put it in the video But this is just like a you know kind of like a cheap little cloth one, but it's nice and stylish It looks cool with the uniform. Uh, I'll do another video where I show what all I keep in there uh, Gum blanket Got this from a private vendor as well, but it's actually a poncho, but I use it as a gum blanket. That way it has uh, two purposes. All right, go over to the hat. This is a Dirty Billy's hat, uh, forge cap. Let's focus. I don't know why it won't focus. Um, that's really nice and comfortable. Keeps your head cool too. And finally, well, not finally, got a couple more things still. Got my knapsack. I got the knapsack with a deal with my uh, poncho. Um, uh, this is not like a Missouri boot and shoe one, but it's still, it's really nice. I think I got it for $65, but it's riveted. And uh, I'll do another video as well where I show what all I keep in there. And then before I get to my rifle, or my musket, I have a U.S. stitched uh, federal issued blanket. Um, this is, pretty sure I got this from, yeah, 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 I got it from a, uh, a private guy who's getting out of the hobby as well. Got this for $30, which was a great deal. I uh, just cleaned it, used some wool light, and it's good as new. And uh, finally, we have the musket. Uh, it's an 1853 Enfield rifled musket. Uh, just go ahead and walk down the line. It's really nice. Um, it's kind of, I didn't actually pay for it. It's basically been loaned to me because I'm going to be going off to college in a year or two. So I'll be taking a break from this hobby. I wouldn't like to, but I'm most likely going to go into the military. So, um, yeah, really like this. Uh, really nice. It was really nice. The guys just loaned it to me for a couple years. And uh, I guess, oh yeah. So what I don't have still, I need I need to get my Brogan still. Uh, right now, I just wear these. Uh, they're Clark's Desert Boots. They're like the World War One style boot, but they could be a really period correct if I uh, took the eyelets out and got like leather laces for them. But I wear these for right now because I mean my feet are still growing and they look perfectly fine in uniform. But yeah, this is my uh, 
Civil War reenacting gear, guys. Thank you for watching. Any input you have would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and I'll see you next time.